hey this is the last video that we're going to complete the series with we're going to talk about the errors and ways to improve the experiment so sit back enjoy okay in this video we're going to talk about the last question in the physics practical paper which is usually about errors and improvements so this section is usually two to three marks if it's a three mark question they will ask for the error the suggestion and explanation if it's two marks they will simply ask for the error and suggestion okay it's actually not easy for them to imbue a particular error in most experiments because they do need you to conduct the experiment properly so i've categorized them into two main groups the first groups are so-called your human errors and the second group got to do with experiment design itself so i'm going to go through the first part first so for human errors there is the issue of first uh, wrong technique in the setup so let me explain to you okay this usually got to do with measuring measuring of length so 2209 paper so you need to measure the length of this part of wire but the wire is actually held down by some clear tape so although your ruler is is straight okay there's a high chance that the wire is wriggly so what you measure may not be the actual length of the wire so one way to overcome it is to use the potential meter tie the wire down pull it so that it's taut and and straight then we have 2014 paper okay so this is a little bit more obvious so you have to measure this length okay every time when we use the ruler the ruler has to be placed on a flat surface we can't measure length by holding it vertically like this but this is what they ask you to do so it is a setup for error as well and secondly you see over here the string and the bottom clamp so this is the string and then and then uh, this is the string and this thing so it's like this so if you look at it from top view you see that there's a parallax issue over here they are not on the same plane so it's, it's very hard for you to read your reading properly because this part is also the reference so you're referencing from this point to this point which is not on the same plane okay so the way to overcome this is most likely markings need to be made on the string before it goes up okay so it's more accurate so this is got to do with technique secondly it's got to do with reaction time Okay, so these are usually your dynamic experiments means that the variable is changing as time goes by so one type is you know, the pendulum experiment okay you miss by a bit your reading can be wrong another type are those that maybe temperature is falling at every interval you are supposed to read the thermometer so it got to do with reaction time so normally for reaction time Okay, so the pendulum questions came out in 06, 14 and 19. So all these are your pendulum. And interestingly, okay, the number of oscillations that they asked to they were, you were asked to do, or the number of times you are supposed to do the experiment is either they give you 10 oscillations, okay, or you simply take one reading for each length. So this is a setup for your human reaction time error because we are not getting enough readings for each length to find an average so then you can spread the error out so the way to improve it is to have two or three readings for each length or to increase 20 oscillation 10 oscillations to 20 oscillations or even 30 oscillations okay so why didn't they ask you to do 20, 30, 2 or 3 readings? Because they only have, you only have 30 minutes to complete the experiment, they don't have time. And also it is a setup so that you can answer this last question. Then you have in 2010, 2011 that got to do with dynamic reading. So 2010 is you are supposed to read meniscus as it drops consistently across time. 2011 it got to do with temperature change so all this is only one reading per scene per unit time so again it's very dependent on a person's reaction time so they didn't compensate by having 
like repeating the experiment two or three times to find average. So that's how you can compensate. Okay, one particular year, 2012, they got you to read uh, refractive index by observing with your eye. So same thing that can be done two or three times to find average value. So all this got to do with uh, reaction time perception or in the technical in the setup. Okay, the next group, experiment design. So this got to do the design of the experiment itself. So what do I mean? Let me show you. 2011 paper. Okay, let's look at this. You are supposed to find the maximum temperature change as a mass of P dissolves in water. So this type of errors, okay, the main question you ask is what factors will affect results? So in every experiment, we only have one control factor and the other one dependable factor and then the, that means one is controlled, the other is what we observe. So if there's another variable that is happening that's affecting our result, then it will give us problem. So in this case, as mass P dissolves in water, temperature is going to change and you're going to measure temperature in equal time intervals. Okay. However, there's one instruction they ask you to do, they ask you to stir. Okay. But it's difficult for you to have a consistent stir of the water and stirring does affect your rate of uh, the, the, the rate that which P dissolves and that will also affect your temperature. So this is a factor that's going to affect your experiment. Okay. Next thing. 2013. So over here, investigate the speed of the water waves as it change, as the depth of the water is changed. Okay, all right. So the tray is not consistent. Okay. So this L over here, all right, is the bottom of the water. But you see the top of the water over here is longer than L because it's not a regular rectangle shape. Okay. So most likely this will affect your results because it's a non-regular shape. 2017, so you're supposed to find the center of gravity of an irregular shape of a card. So we know that to find CG, all you need is two lines. One line over here, one line over here, the way it intersect will be your CG. If you need it to be more accurate, one more line to make sure three lines intersect. But in this case, they ask you to poke eight holes all on one side. So that's a setup for error because as you poke more holes, the paper itself is going to change. So it is you are no longer finding the CG of a piece of card. You are finding the CG of a piece of card with eight holes. Okay, so there's a in the setup there is a pitfall. Okay, next over here, determine mass of a uh, test tube and density of a sample of oil. So one of the key variables over here to find a result is a volume of oil inside. But if you read the 2018 paper, we are using the we are getting the volume of oil inside here by doing a subtraction of what is the oil left. But the the transport the when we transport the oil, some oil will be stuck inside. So the volume of oil here, the data may not have integrity. I think I believe we have done one video on this. You can go and check it out. 2019 value of acceleration of 3,4 G but instead of using the, the string and then a bump okay so using the string and a bump we use a strip of paper so when you use the strip of paper there's a much larger surface area so it's going to encounter more air resistance and that is going to affect the speed of swing and it will affect your value for your G so all these are questions which experiment design consists of factors that will affect the results okay so these are the other group of errors so this is relatively harder so for this we have it in 2013 2011 um, 2017 2018 2019 kind of quite popular but you see for reaction time it's also fairly popular so this is fairly easy so every time when you read your question look out let's say if it requires reaction and then they only ask you to do one reading or oscillation is very low then that is a free gift for you okay other than that let's say if it's a three mark and a single type look closely at the experiment design 
ask yourself what are the factors that will affect the results okay and then you should be able to find it so i hope this helps you see you in the next video hey thanks for staying through the whole video do like and subscribe to our channel if this is useful for you and remember to just check out our project lightboard series there's a discount code coming up so look at the description to get your discount